Indices 1, our basic indice rules. Okay, so here are our basic indice rules. Okay, when we multiply, remember, we add the powers. When we divide, we subtract the powers. And when we've got a power to a power, we multiply the powers. Okay, now, I'm going to put this together now in a series of examples. So the first example here, all we need to do is rearrange it slightly. So we're going to do 3 times 4 times 2 x to the power 2 times x to the power 5. So 3 times 4 is 12. Treat those just as normal numbers. And then when we come here, remember, we add the powers because we multiply it. There we go. Second example, exactly the same thing, but slightly more complicated. Again, I'm just going to rearrange it. So 6 times 4 times x to the 2 times x to the minus 5 times y to the 3 times y to the 4. So what have I got? 6 times 4 is 24 x to the minus 2 times x to the minus 5, I add them. So I'm actually doing 2 plus minus 5. Okay, so that's going to become a minus. 2 minus 5 is minus 3, so it's x to the minus 3. This one, y to the 3 plus 4 times y to the 4, so again we're adding those powers together. So that's going to become y to the 7. Okay, you just got to break it up into little pieces. Right, looking at this example, I'm going to do this one first. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do 30 divided by 6, and that's 5. Now I'm going to do x to the power 4 divided by x to the power 3. So I'm going to do 4 minus 3, which is 1. So x to the power of 1. I don't need to put the 1 in. I could do, but I don't need to, okay? And finally, y to the power of 3 divided by y to the power of 5. So I'm going to do, taking the powers away, 3 minus 5, which is minus 2. So y to the minus 2. And the last one now, by here, before we do the hard one, we're going to do it again in groups. So we're going to do 2 cubed, and 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, so that's 8, and then we're going to do x to the power 6 times 3, so x to the 18. Remember, we times the powers there. Okay, I'm just going to show you this one because they often put this one on and it tricks people. What you need to do is recognise that this bracket is exactly the same as this bracket. So it's been, we can treat it as a single letter, really. So if it, was, if it had been x to the 6 divided by x to the 3, we know that would be x to the 3 because we just take the powers away. And we can do exactly the same thing with this. 6 take away 3 is 3, so the answer is x plus 6 to the power of 3.